In a university setting, your professors are likely to require you to use scholarly research. But what does that mean? Research is not a new concept and is likely something you do regularly, if not daily. Everyday research can include anything from researching the most energy efficient light bulbs to researching whether drinking coffee is good for your health, and everything in between. The concept of research is nothing new for you. In contrast to everyday research demands, scholarly research is not terribly different. For either research mission, you will want to find reliable, credible, evidence-based material that will help you make smart choices and conclusions. However, when it comes to scholarly research for your course papers and assignments, your instructors are likely to want a higher level of information quality than what you might decide to use for everyday information needs. The amount of information at our disposal can be mind-boggling. Even when a library can't provide sources of information on a particular topic or information that will answer a particular question, the internet almost certainly can. Because of this, we are rarely in a situation where we can't find information, but we are often in a situation where we need to decide if the information we've found is something we can use. It's important to remember that not all information is of the same quality. We need to be somewhat skeptical of what we find. One method of evaluating our information is to use the acronym C, which stands for Source, Evidence, and Expression. Each of these areas reminds us to ask a series of questions to help establish whether the information we're reviewing meets our needs. When deciding whether to use a source of information, the authority of the author is significant because it helps contextualize whether what we're saying adds value to the discussion. These questions can help you make that decision. Ask yourself, is the source authoritative? What's the publication's purpose? Who's their audience? Do they have a vested interest or ulterior motive? What do others say about them? What's their expertise, occupation, or proximity to the evidence? Reviewing evidence is an important part of the evaluation process because the information an argument is founded on can validate or debunk the argument. Questions you should be thinking about when it comes to evaluation of evidence include, is their evidence accurate? Find it, go find the evidence, and then see if that source is authoritative. What do others say about it? Checking in multiple sources to see if it's discussed elsewhere is a great way to check the story. When was it created? Does the date meet your needs? Historical research may require you to look to discussions taking place well in the past, while scientific or medical information needs are going to require more recent information. And finally, the expression of the material is important to evaluate. Expression includes the overall presentation of the material. Things to look for here would include, is their expression intelligent? Does their evidence support their claim? Is their argument balanced, complete, or fair? Do they add value to the discussion? And do they have rights to what they're using? While it would be great to use the C method of evaluation for every information source you encounter, you might not remember all the questions you ask of your sources. What's important to keep in mind with any information you encounter, and especially with assignments that ask for scholarly research, is that the accuracy and quality of information you use matters. The information we interact with influences and shapes who we are as a person. Investigating the nature of that information is like reading the label on a package before eating something. You want to know it's good for you, or at least you want to know that it's not. Since we're on the topic of knowing your sources, you should know this wasn't a solo presentation, and there are a few discussions and images consulted in this creation.